but I'm crazy about her. And yeah, I think every, every couple has their difficult times. The only problem is, as you well know, we're all in the public eye and it tends to get a little more exposed. Um, that's yeah. the truth. We went through, uh, you know, we went through 18 years, 18 years of nightmare. With Renowned for his role in Wall Street, Michael Douglas has mesmerized audiences with his powerful performances. As a Hollywood icon, he's weathered the storms of fame and personal life, including his high-profile marriage to Catherine Zeta-Jones. Recently, Michael Douglas has unveiled a shocking truth about his marriage, exposing a troubled love story beneath the Hollywood facade. What shocking revelations has he shared about their journey together? What demons lurked in the shadows of their seemingly perfect life? Let's dive into Michael Douglas's story, beginning with his early life and career. Navigating Fame and Family Legacy Michael Kirk Douglas is an acclaimed American actor, producer, and media mogul who has had an extensive and successful career spanning over five decades. Born on September 25, 1944 in New Brunswick, New Jersey, Douglas is the son of legendary actor Kirk Douglas and is considered one of the most prominent figures in the film industry. Michael Douglas was born to actors Kirk Douglas and Diana Dill. His father, Kirk Douglas, was a major Hollywood star known for films like Spartacus, Lust for Life, and Paths of Glory. His mother, Diana Dill, was also an accomplished actress. Michael has a younger brother, Joel Douglas, as well as two half-brothers from his father's second marriage, Peter and Eric Douglas. Given his family's strong connection to the entertainment industry, it came as no surprise when Michael Douglas followed in his parents' footsteps and pursued acting. However, his path to success was not without its challenges. Could the legacy of a famous surname propel someone to greatness, or would it become a burden? As Michael Douglas navigated his father's monumental shadow, what unexpected challenges and triumphs awaited him on the path to stardom? As the son of a famous actor, Michael initially struggled to step out of his father's shadow and establish his own identity in Hollywood. After graduating from the Allen Stevenson School in New York City, Michael Douglas attended the University of California, Santa Barbara, where he earned a bachelor's degree in drama in 1966. During his college years, he also gained valuable experience by working as a production assistant on various television shows. Upon completing his studies, Douglas moved to New York City to further his acting career. He made his television debut in 1969 with a guest appearance on the series, The Experiment. Over the next few years, he continued to land small roles in TV shows and films, gradually building up his resume and gaining recognition in the industry. Was Michael Douglas ready to gamble everything on the uncertain world of film? What risks would propel him into the limelight and what challenges awaited him in the shadows? A journey through Hollywood's spotlight. His big break came in 1972 when he was cast as a lead in the police procedural series, The Streets of San Francisco. Douglas co-starred alongside veteran actor Carl Malden, and the show was a major hit, running for five seasons and earning him two Emmy nominations. While The Streets of San Francisco was a significant achievement, Michael Douglas was eager to transition to the world of film. In 1975, he made his feature film debut in the thriller Summer Tree. Over the next several years, he appeared in a number of other films, including One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, 1975, which he co-produced and won the Academy Award for Best Picture. What transformation occurred when Michael Douglas stepped behind the camera, revealing a dual talent that would forever change the landscape of Hollywood? Douglas's production work on One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest marked a pivotal moment in his career as it demonstrated his talents not only as an actor, but also as a producer. This dual role would become a hallmark of his subsequent projects, as he continued to seek out compelling stories and bring them to life on the big screen. In 1979, Douglas produced the crime drama, The China Syndrome, which explored the dangers of nuclear power and starred him alongside Jane Fonda and Jack Lemmon. The film was a critical and commercial success further cementing Douglas's reputation as a skilled producer with a keen eye for socially relevant material. While Douglas had established himself as a respected producer, his true passion remained acting. In the 1980s, he began to take on more prominent leading roles, showcasing his versatility and range as a performer. One of his most iconic performances came in 1984 
with the release of the thriller Fatal Attraction. Directed by Adrian Lyne, the film co-starred Douglas alongside Glenn Close and Ann Archer, and it became a massive box office hit, grossing over $320 million worldwide. Douglas's portrayal of a married man whose extramarital affair spirals out of control was widely praised, and he received his first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. The success of Fatal Attraction marked a significant turning point in Douglas's career as he transitioned from a supporting actor to a leading man. In the years that followed, he continued to take on complex and challenging roles, further solidifying his status as one of the most accomplished actors of his generation. In 1987, Douglas starred in the critically acclaimed Wall Street, directed by Oliver Stone. His portrayal of the ruthless corporate raider Gordon Gecko earned him his first Academy Award for Best Actor, and the film's memorable line, Greed is Good, became a cultural touchstone. The 1990s saw Michael Douglas continue to thrive as a leading man, taking on a variety of diverse roles that showcased his acting versatility. In 1992, he starred in the action thriller Basic Instinct alongside Sharon Stone, which became a major box office hit and further cemented his status as a leading Hollywood star. Over the course of the decade, Douglas appeared in numerous other successful films, including Falling Down, 1993, The Game, 1997, and Traffic, 2000, for which he received critical acclaim and a Golden Globe nomination for his supporting role. Douglas secured his first leading role in Romancing the Stone, 1984, playing Jack Colton, an adventurer reminiscent of Indiana Jones. This successful collaboration with Danny DeVito and Kathleen Turner resulted in a sequel, The Jewel of the Nile, 1985. The trio reunited for The War of the Roses, 1989, a dark comedy centered around a tumultuous divorce. In a world where the spotlight often fades, how did one man navigate the treacherous waters of Hollywood to not only survive but thrive, redefining his legacy with each daring role and groundbreaking project? In addition to his acting work, Douglas also continued to pursue producing projects, including the critically acclaimed 1994 drama The Shawshank Redemption, which he helped finance and develop. In 2000, Douglas took on the role of Grady Tripp, a pot-smoking novelist, in the comedy Wonder Boys. His nuanced, comedic performance was widely praised, and he received a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor. The film is now considered one of the best of Douglas's later career. As he entered the 21st century, Douglas's career showed no signs of slowing down. He continued to take on challenging and thought-provoking roles, such as his portrayal of Liberace in the HBO biopic Behind the Candelabra, 2013, for which he won a Primetime Emmy Award and a Golden Globe. He also starred in the film Las Vegas, 2013, alongside Hollywood legends like Robert De Niro, Morgan Freeman, and Kevin Kline. The next year, Douglas appeared with Diane Keaton in And So It Goes and the thriller Beyond the Reach. In 2015, he took on the role of biochemist Hank Pym in the Marvel superhero action comedy Ant-Man and returned for the sequel, Ant-Man and the Wasp, 2018. He also played the character in Avengers Endgame, 2019. More recently, Douglas has starred in the hit Netflix series The Kaminsky Method, which explores the struggles of aging in Hollywood. His nuanced, moving performance as an aging acting coach has earned him critical praise and additional awards recognition, including a Golden Globe and a Screen Actors Guild Award. In a landscape where many fade into obscurity, what keeps the fire alive for an actor whose journey has only grown richer, more complex, and undeniably inspiring with each new role? In recent years, Douglas has also been recognized for his contributions to the entertainment industry. In 2018, he was the recipient of the AFI Life Achievement Award, one of the highest honors in American film. The following year, he was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, cementing his legacy as one of the most celebrated actors of his generation. As he continues to take on new projects and explore new creative avenues, Michael Douglas's legacy is sure to continue to grow and inspire future generations of actors, producers, and changemakers. His remarkable career and his unwavering commitment to excellence have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and the world at large. A path through personal trials and triumphs. 
Behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood romances, what unseen struggles lurk in the shadows of Michael Douglas's personal life, and how do they shape the man behind the actor? After the filming of Summer Tree in 1971, Douglas began dating actress Brenda Vaccaro, a relationship that lasted nearly six years. Michael Douglas's first marriage was to Diandra Luker in 1977. The couple welcomed their son Cameron, but their relationship began to deteriorate in the early 1990s, leading to separation in 1995 and eventual divorce in 2000. The split was marked by disputes over finances and custody arrangements for Cameron, who has faced his own struggles with addiction over the years. In November 2000, Douglas married Welsh actress Catherine Zeta-Jones, whom he met at the Deauville Film Festival in 1998. Their relationship blossomed quickly, and they tied the knot shortly after. The couple has two children, son Dylan Michael Douglas, born in August 2000, and daughter Karis Zeta Douglas, born in April 2003. Their marriage has experienced ups and downs. They separated briefly in 2013, but reconciled in 2014. When accusations of inappropriate behavior emerged from the shadows of his past, could Michael Douglas's carefully crafted image withstand the scrutiny? Or was this the beginning of a dramatic unraveling? In 2018, journalist Susan Brody accused Michael Douglas of inappropriate behavior while she was his assistant in 1989, which he denied, and his wife expressed support for the hashtag MeToo movement without addressing the allegations directly. In 2019, Michael's son Cameron was arrested for methamphetamine possession, marking a challenging period for the family and underscoring the difficulties of handling personal issues in the public eye. In 2010, he was diagnosed with throat cancer, a harrowing experience that he bravely fought and eventually overcame. Compounding his health struggles, his son Cameron was sentenced to an extended prison term for drug possession, adding immense turmoil to the family. Additionally, the passing of his iconic father, Kirk Douglas, in 2020 at the age of 103 was undoubtedly a profound loss. Despite these immense personal trials, Michael has demonstrated remarkable resilience, using his platform to raise awareness and advocate for important causes. His ability to persevere in the face of adversity has only added to his legacy as a respected actor and public figure. In a world often divided by faith, how did Michael Douglas's complex religious heritage shape his identity and lead him to champion inclusivity amid an ever-changing global landscape? Michael Douglas comes from a diverse religious background, with a Jewish father and an Anglican mother. Although he wasn't raised in a religious household, he identified as a Reformed Jew as of January 2015. His family actively celebrates their Jewish heritage, highlighted by his son Dylan's bar mitzvah which they commemorated with a trip to Jerusalem. In recognition of his contributions to the Jewish community, Douglas received the 2015 Genesis Prize, a prestigious award that includes a $1 million prize. He chose to donate this money to initiatives aimed at promoting inclusion and diversity within Jewish life, as well as tackling significant global challenges. As a Hollywood icon, how has Douglas's transformation into a philanthropist addressing pressing global issues, challenged traditional notions of celebrity responsibility? Douglas's charitable efforts extend beyond his faith, focusing on healthcare, human rights, and nuclear disarmament. Since 1998, he has held the title of United Nations Messenger of Peace, emphasizing disarmament issues. His philanthropic work includes supporting the Motion Picture and Television Fund, which assists entertainment industry professionals as well as fundraising for the Jewish General Hospital and the McGill University Health Center in Montreal, where he received treatment for cancer. Struggles and challenges in marriage. Now let's reveal what Michael Douglas has admitted about the struggles in his marriage. Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones, both Oscar-winning actors, have maintained a strong, high-profile marriage over the years. Sharing a unique bond, including a shared birthday on September 25th, they have built a family together with their two children, Dylan and Karis. Their relationship has been closely followed by fans in the media, highlighting their journey as both partners and parents. The two met in 1998 at the Deauville Film Festival in France and began a whirlwind romance that ultimately led to a storybook wedding in 2000. At the time of their meeting, 
Douglas was 54 years old and Zeta Jones was 29, sparking some controversy over their significant age gap. Their 25-year age gap raised eyebrows, but how did Michael and Catherine silence their critics and forge a love that defied the odds? After two years of dating, Douglas proposed to Zeta Jones in a lavish, romantic gesture on New Year's Eve 1999. The couple wed the following year at the Plaza Hotel in New York City in a magnificent ceremony that was the talk of the entertainment world. Their wedding was estimated to have cost $1.5 million and featured an all-star guest list that included celebrities like Sean Connery, Anthony Hopkins, and Tom Jones. Michael Douglas and Catherine Zeta-Jones have both achieved great professional success, solidifying their reputation as a Hollywood power couple. Catherine won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in 2003 for her role in Chicago, showcasing her talent and the couple's mutual career support. Michael's consistent success in acting further cements their status as a dominant duo in the entertainment industry. What happens when Hollywood's golden couple faces challenges that even fame and fortune can't shield them from? For Michael and Catherine, the stakes were life or How did their unbreakable bond survive devastating health crises and personal battles that could have torn them apart? In the years following their marriage, Douglas and Zeta Jones have weathered some significant challenges. In 2010, Catherine revealed that she was battling bipolar II disorder, a condition that had been undiagnosed for many years. Douglas stood by his wife's side throughout her treatment and recovery, providing unwavering support and love. The couple has also faced health scares of their own. In 2010, Douglas was diagnosed with stage four oral cancer, a diagnosis that initially carried a poor prognosis. Zeta Jones was a constant presence at his side during his grueling treatments. And ultimately, Douglas was able to make a full recovery. In 2013, Hollywood's golden couple shocked the world with a surprise separation. Was this the end of Michael and Catherine's love story? With rumors swirling and public pressure mounting, their marriage seemed on the brink. What really drove Michael and Catherine apart? After 13 years of marriage, Michael and Catherine announced their separation due to the strain from Michael's throat cancer and Catherine's mental health struggles. Public scrutiny intensified their difficulties during this challenging time. Despite the separation, they maintained hope for their relationship, highlighting the importance of communication and understanding in overcoming adversity. By April 2014, Michael and Catherine reconciled after their brief separation, demonstrating a renewed commitment to their relationship as they began appearing together publicly again. They celebrated important milestones, including their 15th wedding anniversary in November 2015, where they expressed their love and appreciation for each other, highlighting their ability to overcome challenges and reaffirm their shared future. The couple embraced a new chapter in their lives when they became grandparents in December 2017, following the birth of Michael's son, Cameron's daughter, Lua. The experience of being grandparents allowed Michael and Catherine to cherish their family even more reflecting on their journey together and celebrating the new generation. When Michael unveiled the truth behind his cancer diagnosis, the public couldn't help but speculate, was this a hidden strain that almost tore the couple apart? In early 2023, Michael Douglas revealed in a candid interview that his throat cancer was caused by the HPV virus, which added a layer of complexity to his marriage with Catherine. This disclosure stirred public speculation and scrutiny particularly since Michael had not initially shared this information before meeting Catherine. The revelations surrounding his health and the challenges it posed to their relationship contributed to the strain they experienced. However, their ability to navigate this public scrutiny demonstrates their resilience and dedication to one another, underscoring the strength of their bond amidst adversity. Throughout their relationship, Douglas and Zeta Jones have been open about the challenges they have faced, but have always presented a united front. They have weathered the storm of fame, health crises, and personal struggles, and have emerged as an inspiration to couples everywhere. Now in their 22nd year of marriage, Douglas and Zeta Jones continue to serve as a shining example of the enduring power of love and commitment. Have Michael and Catherine truly overcome the odds in their love story? Or are deeper issues at play? What do you think about their journey through fame and personal struggles? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more captivating content.
Thanks for watching.